Biden to receive classified briefings, even as the Trump administration continues to block a formal transition. Our Samantha Jo Roth has been speaking with Florida lawmakers about this process. Joins us now live with what lawmakers are saying. Yeah, hi, Sharon. Lawmakers on both sides have been saying that Biden should be receiving these key government briefings, but the majority of Republicans still won't publicly push the president to begin the transition. President-elect Joe Biden is trying to move forward with the transition without official recognition from the Trump administration. I think it's well past time that we go ahead and allow the transition process to begin immediately. Biden is forging ahead, creating his own agency review teams and receiving briefings from former national security officials. But the delay is causing concern on Capitol Hill. That really empowers our adversaries across the globe. We already have our hands full with Russia, China, other malign influences. And when a commander in chief takes his eye off the ball, then that weakens our national security. Biden and his team acknowledged today the holdup could hurt their ability to respond to the virus and roll out a vaccine. It's a point even some Republicans are echoing. Could affect making the proper preparations for the broadest and most efficient uh, uh, deployment of vaccines once they're finally tested. It's a huge logistical undertaking. Retiring Representative Francis Rooney is one of only a handful of Republicans who have openly called for the transition to begin. Others like Senator Marco Rubio are beginning to accept the outcome, referring to Biden as the president-elect. Ultimately, that's what the results, the preliminary results seem to indicate. And, uh, I think we'll certainly have to anticipate it. That's the highest likelihood at this point. But obviously, the president has legal claims in court, and he'll continue to pursue those. And, and if that changes, obviously, it'll be uh, something we'll, we'll have to deal with. Rooney believes it's only a matter of time until more high-profile Republicans speak out. Out. I think there seem to be a few more murmurs around about people that are, uh, are not super happy. I think it's unacceptable right now, but uh, I think more and more people are calling for it. Even further complicating all of this is a pair of runoff races in the state of Georgia that will determine control of the U.S. Senate. Now, Republican leaders have been really careful and they are carefully navigating this because a public dispute with the president could impact the outcome of those races. We are live in D.C. tonight. Samantha Jo Roth, Spectrum News 13. At six